In this Natural Reader review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software Natural Reader. If you have any questions, please be sure to comment them down below and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can always get your money's worth for Natural Reader. Natural Reader is an AI text-to-speech software. This is what you should see once you have signed up or even logged in to this software. So there's not much going on. It is, again, just an AI text-to-speech software. That's pretty much what this software has to offer. So I'm going to quickly go through each feature. And then throughout the review, I'm going to dive deeper into each feature, seeing what each feature actually does and how you can actually use it within the software. So straight off the bat, I'm going to go up to the top left-hand corner. And this is the Natural Reader logo which is actually clickable, which is a cool feature. Right below that, we have the add files section, which is pretty self-explanatory. This is where you'd add your files. And then below that, we have the library section, which is again, just a library. And then below that, we have your account. And then finally, the apps within the software that can be added. We have the commercial version right here and the EDU discount all the way. In the bottom left, we have an Android and iOS scan or QR code. And you can actually choose to upgrade all the way at the bottom if you want to also download this software on your phone. In the middle is where the main areas actually go on. You have your text right here and then you can choose to play it. You can change the voice, obviously rewind or fast forward. And then you can change the speed that it's actually done at. You have a little X right here if you want to go ahead and actually add your own files. All the way over here we have some other buttons like the save and the text. And then if you click these three little dots, we have a ton of different settings, which is convert to MP3, skip reading text, search and replace, pronunciation, hotkeys, word highlight, highlight color, auto scroll, dark mode, volume, report issues, and share. So there's loads of features in this settings section if you wanna go ahead and make the software more general to you. So we're gonna go ahead and actually play this real quick. You can drop your files or type, paste, and edit text here. Natural Reader is a professional text-to-speech program that converts any written text into spoken words. So straight off the bat, you can see that the AI text-to-speech works perfectly. It's really well integrated, and it actually goes ahead and highlights the words that it's reading as it's reading along. Unlike a lot of AI text-to-speech softwares, they don't really do that, and that is a really good feature for this software in case you want to actually follow along what they're saying, and it's pretty much easier to actually do that. So again, you can go ahead and play it up here if you want to, or even change some of this text. So let's just change the text by just highlighting it and clicking back. And let's just say, hi, welcome to this review. And now we're gonna see if they actually go ahead and say that. Welcome to this review. So there you go, you can see that it said, hi, welcome to this review. And it actually goes ahead and says anything you write into this box. Again, if you have something you want to add, like a file, you can go ahead and click X and you can actually choose to type it out or even add a file here. Once you click add files, you can add a document, you can actually text, you can actually add images or even a web page if you want to do that as well. Again, a couple of good features there if you want to go ahead and add all of these three rather than just a document like a lot of text to speech softwares add. So once you're going ahead and actually added your document or text again, it should appear in this middle section here. Next, we have the library section. And if you actually click on it, it opens up all of your library or your saved if you want to go ahead and actually come back to them or even save any of your text and again just come back to them so as you can see the one we just typed hi welcome to this review it actually automatically saved here and then we just have the ones that the software actually provide if you go to the three dots all the way on the right you can actually choose to delete them download it rename it move to a folder or even share it up in the top right hand corner of the library section you can actually choose to select or even select all by clicking select you can choose to add a folder if you want to go ahead and create a new folder just like this you just name it let's just say reviews and then you click create and you can actually create a folder you can choose to change the listing whether it's a date name size or kind you can choose to reload it you also have a notifications and a search bar so let's say we wanted to move the one we just saved or just did hi welcome to this review to the reviews folder we just then click these three dots and then click move to folder and then obviously this is the only folder we have made. So we'd click move. And now we have the one we just made into the reviews folder. So this is a really great feature in the software since you can actually go ahead and organize your software. You can organize different saves into different files in case you want more than others. And you can go ahead and pretty much just make it more organized. So now once we click on that, we can see that this one is now saved in the reviews folder. So we're gonna go back to the actual natural reader section. And all you have to do to do that is go ahead and click add files and then go ahead and just click text. And then it opens up this section again. 
you can actually choose to click this if you want to go ahead and change who actually says your well, which AI says your text. You can have different free versions, premium or even plus versions. So from this section, you can have the English US or even English UK from these three people or even these three people in the UK. So let's just click George since I am from the UK and let's see what he sounds like when reading this text. Drag and drop your files or type paste and edit text here. So there you go, you can see he sounds really good. Again, the AI is really well integrated and you can go ahead and hear them clearly and see that it's actually highlighting each section as it reads it. You can go on this section again and now we're gonna go ahead and actually change the highlight color as it reads it. So we can change it to blue and you can also change if you want word highlight actually on or if you want it off as well. You can also change the pronunciation if you want to go ahead and add pronunciations for your speaker. You can go ahead and click add new, import the original word and the replace word if you want to do that as well. You can also skip the reading text, search and replace if you want to do that as well like we said before and you can search document and then you can also go down here and again just go through dark mode if you want to do that as well and finally change the volume. So now that I've went into every intricate bit of here and changed the highlight color, if we go ahead and click Drag and this drop again, your files or type, paste and edit text here. You can see that it's now blue as it's highlighting the words that it's reading. Again, a pretty good software feature. And finally, you can actually change the speed if you want to, if we turn it all the way up. Drag and drop your files or type, paste and edit text here. So you can choose to change how fast the AI actually says the words. And that's about it for this software. It's just a really good software to actually go ahead and see the AI text to speech. And there you go, that is it for the Natural Reader software review. Overall, I think it's a really great software for actually having an AI text to speech features. It's one of the best softwares out there and there are a few features that I personally like. Those features is that it's really easy to actually run through the software. So for any beginners, it's really straightforward, but for also professionals, it has a lot of features that you can use professionally so it's not just for beginners. I also again like how easy it is to actually go ahead and change the voice and I also love the file system of how you can actually go ahead and organize your files so you know what you're actually saving and not saving and you can go ahead and organize the software to you. I also like how it auto saves which is a really great feature that not a lot of softwares actually have. In case your file actually gets removed, the natural reader software actually goes ahead and auto saves it for you so you don't lose your work. Would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I absolutely would. Anyone who's looking for a software like this, professionally or as a beginner, this is one of the best out there, again, for all those features that I just listed. Would I use it myself? Yes, I would. Those features I just listed, I really like a lot of the features on this software, and I would use it myself if I was looking for an AI reader software. And that's all for this video. I'll see you in the next one.